Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to set up the Behringer FCB1010 MIDI foot controller to control your old DSP plugins in FL Studio. Let's get started. To program the FCB1010, we'll be using an editor since it is the easiest way to program the controller. There are many editors that are both free and for purchase. However, the editor I find the easiest to use is the FCB1010 Manager by Mountain Utilities. You can find a link to this free editor in the description below. Installation is simple, so there is no need to cover it in this video. When you open the editor, you'll be presented with this screen. The first thing you want to do is make sure your MIDI device is connected to the editor. Click the Options button, then MIDI Devices. From here, choose your MIDI device. After that click View, then Presets. This is where you'll program the FCB1010 to send MIDI messages. Now you are ready to start programming the controller. For this tutorial, we'll set up pedals 1 through 5 to send program changes. Pedals 6 through 10 will toggle effects. And the expression pedals will control continuous effects such as volume and wah. Let's set up the editor. Setting up the editor for the FCB1010 to work with Neural DSP in FL Studio can be done in 5 easy steps. Step 1. Select pedal 1 in the editor pane and drag to pedal 10. Step 2. Select enable PC1. Step 3. Select increment PC1 and enter 1 as the set number. Step 4. Enable expression A. Repeat for expression B. Step 5. Click Fix. Expression A. Controller and enter 100. Click Fix Expression B and enter 101. Now the editor is set. Let's send the data to the FCB1010. Now that we have set up the FCB1010 in the editor, we need to send the commands from the editor to the controller. In order to transmit the data, we must set up the FCB1010 to receive it. This is done in three easy steps. First turn the unit off, then hold the down button and turn it back on. Continue holding the down button until the green light on direct select is lit and then release. Next, press the down pedal once to select config. Finally, press the number 7 button to activate the receive mode. Now, you can click the green send data to the FCB1010 button on the editor. You will get a pop-up notification instructing you to do the three steps we just did. Simply click the OK button and the data will be sent to the controller. The last thing that needs to be done is to save it to the controller. If you do not do this step, the controller will not work. Simply hold the down button until the countdown finishes and the green light goes out. Now your FCB1010 is ready. Let's set up FL Studio to respond to the FCB1010. To set up the FCB1010 in FL Studio, go to Options and select MIDI Settings. Next, select the device and enable it. Select a port number that is not being used. For the tutorial, we have selected the number 2. Now FL Studio is set up to receive data from the FCB1010. To set up the Neural plugin, select a channel and click a Mixer Insert slot. Select more plugins from the menu and type Archetype in the Find search bar. Select your Neural plugin. 
Once the plugin is loaded, click the cog icon in the upper left corner and select the second tab. Set the input port number. Now, click the first tab to display the plugin and go to MIDI settings in the bottom left corner of the neural plugin. Note, if the MIDI settings icon is not visible, right click on the plugin and change the window size. Click the plus icon and add 10 rows. Under type, for the first 5 rows select program change preset. And for the last 5 rows select program change toggle. Select presets for the first 5 rows. And effect parameters for the remaining 5 rows. Finally, starting with the top row, select PC0 and continue in numerical order to PC9. Close the MIDI settings menu. Now, when you step on pedals 1 through 5, your presets will change. And when you step on pedals 6 through 10, your effects will toggle. To set the expression pedal, simply right click on a knob and select Enable MIDI Learn. Move the expression pedal and select Disable MIDI Learn. Now your expression pedal is set. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.